G'day YouTube, 1MJ here. Well, I want to do a story uh, that will hopefully dispel the myth that Bitcoin is going to go to zero. I can tell you right now that is not going to happen. There is zero chance, and I'll say that again, zero chance that Bitcoin is going to go to zero. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Now, this is just not, this is my opinion, not financial advice. I have to say that. But here's why. It's at 10,746. Could it go lower from here? Yep, definitely, could go lower. But will it go a lot lower? No, I don't actually think it will. I think we are pretty close to the bottom at the moment. And I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, Grayscale. They bought another 17,100 Bitcoin just in the last week. In the last seven days this was uh, put out on the 29th of September so that was yesterday in the last week they bought 17,100 Bitcoin do you think they're gonna let it go to zero and they've got a lot more they've got tons of Bitcoin here we go they've got over half a million Bitcoin do you really think they're gonna let it go to zero they've bought it at basically sort of ten thousand dollars in the last seven days they bought 17,000. Do you think they're going to want to lose money? No, they're not stupid. They can see what's coming. They know Bitcoin is cheap at the moment. That is why they have bought another 17,000. And they're going to continue to buy. I can tell you right now, they're not done. I would say they'll be going for probably legitimately half a million Bitcoin. So they're not quite there yet. They've still got a ways to go. Another 50,000 sort of Bitcoin. I think that's what they'd be sort of aiming for. And they'll probably continue to uh, buy more, even past that. But if they're buying it at basically 10,000 something dollars, how would it possibly go to zero? They're not going to sell. They simply have to hold on to it and it will only drop so far. They own you know, a, a big percentage of Bitcoin. There you go, they hold 2% of Bitcoin. So every other crypto head in, their, in the world would basically have to sell for these guys to really start to panic. And they're not going to, I can tell you right now, they're gonna hold on to their Bitcoin. I'm not selling my Bitcoin. I'm not selling my Bitcoin for a long, long time. And it's only really new investors that don't understand the markets that will panic and sell. The people who've been in the game for a long time, they're not gonna sell. No one is going to sell their Bitcoin for under sort of, I'd say maybe about sort of $8,000 to $9,000. They're just not going to. It would cost them too much. It'd be easier for them to just hold no matter what happens. Again, what it would take for Bitcoin to go to zero is everybody would have to sell their Bitcoin. That is just not going to happen. So this is one example of why Bitcoin is not going to zero. Don't believe that rubbish that is people trying to scaremonger you and you know promote their own thing like Peter Schiff, for instance. And I'm not trying to hate on Peter Schiff. I like Peter Schiff, but he's like, you know, Bitcoin won't last and it'll go to zero, blah, blah, blah. No, it won't because Grayscale own 2% of all Bitcoin and they've been buying Bitcoin at $10,000, they're not going to sell it at a loss. They're simply not. They know all they have to do is hold. Again, it would take everybody else who believes in Bitcoin to sell for this to go below really the price that uh, Grayscale has bought it at. They're just not going to. And again, I'm one of them. I'm not selling my Bitcoin. I'm not selling it for anything under... Pff, a hundred, hundred and fifty thousand US dollars, and even then, I'm probably still not going to sell. I'm simply going to hold. So that is one example, and I don't think they're the biggest holder of Bitcoin. I think there's uh, Chamath, and I don't want to butcher his last name, but I'm going to uh, Palamitabatai or something. I, I'm, you know, I apologise if he listens to this. Uh, I don't know how to spell your last name. Allegedly, he owns. You know. I, I heard on the thing the other day, he might have bought a million Bitcoin back in 2013 or something. And he said it goes to a million dollars or nothing. He's not going to let it go to nothing. He's not going to sell his Bitcoin for anything basically less than a million dollars, really. So that's another person. He's one of the big whales. Uh, what's his name? Oh, God, I've lost his name now. But uh, Raul Paul, he's sort of of the same belief, and he's a, a somewhat Bitcoin whale. Mike Novogratz, the Gemini twins. There's so many people out there that believe it is going much higher, and they would take up 
you know, so much of the Bitcoin space, it's not going to zero. Please, if anyone's telling you Bitcoin's going to zero, don't get caught up in that garbage. It is not going to zero. People just won't let it go to zero. If they don't sell and all of a sudden there's bugger all Bitcoin, you know, that's available, but people still want to buy it, that is what will push the price up eventually when there's just not enough uh, left and people are still trying to buy it. That's when the price skyrockets. And I can tell you right now, I'm not selling my Bitcoin. I am not selling my Bitcoin again for anything less than $100,000, $150,000. Then I may consider it. And it's only consideration. I plan on holding, you know, for the really, really long term, 10, 20 years. And, you know, I'll be using the interest that I'll make off it and all the rest of it. That's my plan. But here's another reason. Micro strategy. Now, they bought a ton of Bitcoin as well. They, what did they buy? They acquired 16,000 Bitcoin uh, over a 74 hour period. And that was uh, in September, I'm pretty sure, or late August. That's not long ago. They were still buying it at roughly, you know, $9,000, I would say would be their average price. Do you think they're going to sell at a loss? Do you think they're going to want to sell Bitcoin at, you know, $8,000, $7,000, $3,000, $2,000? There's not a chance. This is a big, massive, you know, internet company that does, you know, statistics and data and all the rest of it. You think they haven't looked into it and worked out what is going on? They're not selling. They are a Bitcoin whale. Grayscale is a Bitcoin whale. Um, you know, there's so many Bitcoin whales. Again, the Gemini twins, Mike Novogratz. Uh, you know, there's so many different people out there that are in the game. They're not going to sell their Bitcoin. I can tell you right now, they are not going to let it go for less than what they bought it for. What will happen is if somehow there's a big panic and everyone else start not everyone else, because not everyone will, but let's say enough of a percentage that start to panic and Bitcoin drops back down to, you know, $10,000, $9,000, $8,000, it's going to get bought up so quickly by people like me. Now, I don't have thousands of dollars to go buying Bitcoin, but I can tell you right now, if it dips down into the $8,000, $9,000 range, I'm going to be putting every single cent I have into it, as will all these people. It is not going to go to zero. It's not going to go much lower than it is right now. I actually am, you know, reasonably confident that Bitcoin's not going to go uh, below $10,000 anytime soon. Could it do that in the next low point after this bull run? Yep, definitely could. But at the moment, micro strategy, uh, and they're talking about still buying more Bitcoin. Grayscale were buying Bitcoin just in the last week, and they were doing it when it was dipping down. So uh, Grayscale, they were probably buying it up when it was hitting you know, the low $10,000 mark. And micro strategy, again, they got in and in 17 hours, where was it? They were buying 0.19 BTC each three seconds. So that's how they were doing it as to not you know, pump up the market too hard. Do you think there aren't other people that are doing this exact same thing right now? Other big whales would have seen what Grayscale are doing, would have seen what MicroStrategy are doing. It is happening. And let's go over to the charts and have a look. I actually believe that is what is happening right here. We can see Bitcoin is coiling ever so tight right now and it's broken out of this sort of, you know, trend line that we have here. But maybe this trend line has to now move a little bit. Maybe this is the trend line now. Who knows? I'm still going to stick to this trend line. And so we've broken out of that. We've pushed up above, but now we're bouncing off it. But again, I actually think by sort of uh, October 8th to October sort of 12th, thereabouts, we're going to have a real clear indication. And I do not see Bitcoin going lower. I think it's highly unlikely. I think if it starts to get down to the sort of the $10,000 range, it's going to get bought up very, very quickly. This is the greater trend line here from going way, way back. Again, so this is it. It is aggressively being bought up. Anyone that tells you Bitcoin is going to go to zero uh, and it's fake money and all this blah, 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 they are crazy. They are absolutely crazy. There are big time investors piling into cryptocurrencies and in particular piling into grayscale investments. 
I think there's a number of companies that are following micro strategies uh, strategy and they are currently piling, not piling because piling would force the price up big time, but they are applying the same strategy. And again, this is just coiling, coiling, coiling. And I think we are going to have a leg up. Look, don't get me wrong, does that mean it could come down? Yes, but I don't think it's going to go below $10,000. I think that is highly unlikely. There's just, Grayscale will buy more. Micro strategy will buy more. I would buy more if it's going to the $10,000 range. And particularly, I've already got my order set. If Bitcoin goes anywhere near sort of $9,000, I've already got my order set in to buy Bitcoin. So I'm sure there would be a ton of other people, I believe, uh, again, this could roll over and maybe it's going to come back down and test this $10,300 level or something. But I don't think we're going below 10000 until after this bull run if we ever come back here again. And again, particularly if the big institutions and Grayscale's been buying it at $10,000, MicroStrategy was probably buying it at sort of $9,000 they're not gonna let it go back low again because that would mean they would have to then be selling their Bitcoin uh, at that kind of prices. And they're not, they're gonna sell more so at the top and people will be snapping it up. Again, even at the next Bitcoin uh, bear market, if it comes anywhere close to $10,000, I will be buying it up again, as will many other people. I don't believe we're going to see it uh, below 10,000 anytime soon, if ever again. Now that's just my thoughts. Last but not least, let's go over and have a look. So $384 billion. So again, we're up a little bit, but we're just ranging. And again, we've been doing this for quite some time. And yep, Bitcoin's caught here, but there have been some fairly big movers. There we go, Zilliqa's had a good move. Theta Network's had a good move. Cosmos, you know, Ren's had a good move. And likewise, there's been some losers. So Thorchain took a bit of a tumble. Uma, Yearn Finance, uh, yep. That's slowly but surely going down. That doesn't mean it's a bad project. Uh, I haven't invested in it, but you know it's been going sort of down for a little while. Uh, Engine Network, that's disappointing. I hope they would have done better, but for me, I'm just gonna buy more. Uh, Aave, there we go, uh, a little bit of a tracement, but you know, the market is generally just trading sideways. And again, last but not least, I'll say it again. Anyone who's telling you Bitcoin is going to go to zero, there would have to be a catastrophe, a catastrophic uh, monetary fail in the complete system. That would mean the dollar goes to nothing, stocks go to nothing for Bitcoin to fail. It has proven itself for over a decade now. It came out in 2009. It was born in the 2008 financial crisis and it has only been growing again. Let's zoom right out. So for anyone who's trying to tell you Bitcoin is you know, going to go to zero, this is where it started. Well, this isn't where it started. This is 2011, so a few years over. It had its dip, had a big spike, dropped back down. But this is what it does. Spiked up, dropped down. Spiked up, dropped down. Spiked up, bit of a bear market, and pushed its way back up. It is just going to do the same thing again. Bitcoin is not going to zero, and I really don't think it's going to go much below $10,000 ever again, if it even ever comes down below $10,000 again. Again, I'm not trying to say it absolutely won't. I just think it's unlikely. Based on all the things that have been happening, I don't think Bitcoin is going below $10,000. And if it does somehow manage to go below $10,000, I highly doubt it'll go below nine or eight thousand dollars because there will be so many institutions and you know whales and that they will just snap it up at that price as they will know this is the opportunity of a lifetime. The pandemic crash, where basically everything sold off, and that doesn't happen very often. It basically got to. I mean, it did dip down into the three thousands, four thousands, but really, it didn't get below. Let's just round it off and say $5,000. That's as low as it could go after a massive panic. It's not gonna come back here again. And we can see what happened is it quickly pushed up to here. And where are we? So let's say roughly, again, we'll round up a little bit, $8,000, I don't think Bitcoin will make it back to $8,000. There will just be too many people buying it up. Stimulus money, no stimulus money, it won't matter. 
people who understand finances and that and you know particularly big institutions and that they will snap it up at these prices and i believe they already are snapping up at these prices now i believe micro strategies formula of just buying small amounts you know repetitively is now being adopted by other uh, institutions and watch this space uh, I honestly think, as I said, it was the last 24 to 48 hours. Well, we've already broken out of this, but it looks like we're coming back and testing it at the moment. So we'll have to wait and see. That was only 24 hours ago, sort of, I said that. So really by tomorrow, I would expect to see a clear signal of whether we're going to, you know, break down and again, maybe come back down and test this uh, bigger line or whether we start to break up. I just... My gut feeling is, you know, things are happening and big things are happening and we are going to see a push to the upside. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong before and, and I can guarantee I'm going to be wrong again. But I built my position uh, quite a number of months ago. You know, I got into cryptocurrencies when I saw this crash. I put in the money that I had aside uh, and basically, you know, over 50% of my uh, portfolio uh, is in profit and in good profit but unfortunately the things that I bought over here i.e. the altcoins and things like that uh, some of those are 50% uh, not in profit but they were very small uh, amounts of money that I was building here again most of mine was put back in here you know I bought uh, most of my Bitcoin between sort of 5,200 I think was the lowest that I bought it uh, and I got to about 7,000 sort of 400 so around about here that's where I built most of my position uh, in Bitcoin uh, I have been dollar cost averaging since but the predominant part of my Bitcoin is between that four five thousand four hundred and seven thousand five thousand two hundred sorry and the seven thousand four hundred dollar range and I can tell you right now I'm never going to sell Bitcoin at that price so if by some miracle it drops down to there uh, I wouldn't be selling it and I don't think it will I think I will forever be in profit in those Bitcoin in that yeah Bitcoin uh, for the rest of my life don't get me wrong i've been buying some bitcoin up here that is not in profit but it doesn't uh, come anywhere near to you know cancelling out any of that so this has been a little bit of a long video but again bitcoin going to zero anyone who says that to you slap that person they don't know a thing <laughs> they have no clue what they're talking about the big institutions that are getting into it now won't let that happen and neither will buyers like, you know, Chamath and the Gemini twins and all the rest of it. I can guarantee you the Gemini twins, when this happened, bought more Bitcoin. They're not stupid. They would have known this is the best opportunity to get more Bitcoin. Uh, and again, micro strategy after what they've done, there will be other institutions following. Grayscale was still buying Bitcoin just a week ago. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that gain train, although it's a little bit hard, we're having a bit of a red day, but you know, that's what happens. And I'll see you next time.